Okay, ball and blitz. This is the way I play it. I'm not saying it's exactly right, but it's close. <laughs> So it's an E chord up on the seventh fret. Pinky up to the eleventh fret. Then all the way up to the twelfth fret. So This is an A chord. I like doing it on the fifth fret because you get a lot of that low end. Instead of there. That's when he starts saying man in the back and then blah blah blah. Do, 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 do. Then he does all this thing and then he comes back with just an E chord. Then it goes up to the it goes up to the F sharp F sharp on the uh, fourth fret. Yeah, basically D. Anyway, so I just play the that, but I throw in the C sharp on top of the F sharp on the fourth fret, so it's. Slide that up to the A, but I play the E on top of the A. C, then it's a regular C on the third fret. Then up to the E, so basically it's F sharp, A, C, E on the seventh fret. But I'm playing these, I'm playing the uh, fifth on the bottom, I guess. So then it goes on the F sharp, second fret, A, fifth fret, B, seventh fret, man in the back. So it slides into it as seventh, eighth, ninth. Oops, and you also do like this. That's your top three low notes of the E chord. All the singing then. Oh, yeah. Okay, 
So there's that little break in the middle. This is a, this is how I play it. I think let me let me play it. The first part of it is the middle part. Here's the middle part. The first part of it is you get the E on the seventh fret, octave on the third fret, down to the D on the third fret, A on the fourth string, back to the the uh, E on the fifth string, seventh fret, then the B on the fourth string, ninth fret. So it's this one. Then it goes back to the E, then up to the D, which I'm just barring everything here. Then up to the E. It's like... That's actually what it is, the ending part is. So it's... So E, D, E, D, E. We could hammer it. Here we go. This goes back to the the only hard part of the song. I can't play it slow. Alright, that's about it.